Hello everybody, I'm Chris Olds, this is Derek Fick, and we're here with a rather, well, award-winning edition of Box Busters. More importantly, a Letterman award-winning edition of Box go. Busters. Bring it back to college. 2014-15 Upper Deck Letterman Basketball. I just want to ask you, Mr. Olds, how was your college experience? I went to two of them. You went to two? I'm trying to think, so how was it? I yeah. covered a lot of basketball. Yeah? I did. That was like my primary beat when I was in college, at least for go. the first part of it. Yeah, well that's cool. My college go. experience was fun. I, I had I had a blast. Well there you go. So hopefully I can reminisce in seeing some of these awesome college players. Getting all nostalgic on this. Yeah. Letterman. This is four cards per pack, ten packs per box. Okay. Um, it's typical upper deck, you know, got some great stuff. College, obviously. Plugs to plugs. the camera man. Yes. I missed the plugs. And these are really nice design here. Check out this hair, ready? What you got? Boom. Boom. Reggie Theus. Nice. Here's old school uh, Larry Bird right there. This is a pretty nice foil design. Yeah, for uh, a little bit. I don't was he on one of the Saved by the Bell? Uh, I'm like, I'm like, I, he, he's been on TV shows. Yeah. I, I don't remember. Way to go. Bring up the yeah. question. We don't have the answer. Thanks, yet. cameraman. Here's the card backs. <laughs> they're, they're pretty colorful, very team oriented. Yeah. Uh, Larry Bird on the front of a card here. And actually, so far, my first pack, mostly color photography. Mm -hmm. And also some rookies. I have in my first pack a numbered, numbered out of 999, Rodney Hood. Very nice. From the Dukies. The Dukies. I also have premier rookie card numbered to 999, Zach Levine. Now, Levine. Technically, these aren't RCs, though, right? Technically, they are not. Okay, but let's check. Um, obviously, they say rookies on it. Correct. So, Everything does. These yeah. Guys, so. Um, so, yeah, you'll, you'll see some. Pretty good rookie cards. Well, not How rookie about cards, but rookie. LeBron cards. James. Hey, that's glad. And I'm, then I, I'm glad that you got that. And then, of course, I have um, how many cards per pack here? Four. Well, I have five in this one. So. Oh, okay. Carl Malone, Dr. J, Jerry West. So three black and whites in a row after mentioning all the color in my first pack. Okay. How about my first autograph? Home Court Stars, Bill Walton. Ooh. And. Okay, this is a manufactured basketball etched floor piece according to the card back. So it's not game used, but okay. it looks like it might have been. So yeah, that's, that's cool. That's very different. Sticker autograph. Yep. Yep. But you know, this, this feels like a much more higher end price tag mm -hmm. kind of design. So yeah, that's definitely. pretty sweet. All right, my pack, we got Danny Manning, Rock Chalk, Jayhawk, James Harden. Do you happen to know the size of the set or anything? The what? The size of the set. It's actually somewhat small. Okay. Um, it's an overall small product, so okay. not a lot of uh, stuff, but there's still plenty of things that you can get, including what we were talking about, there the Letterman That's uh, patches. Number to 50, this is the rookie premier Letterman of Kyle Anderson. Mr. Anderson. Yeah, number to 50, we got the sticker autograph right there. That's a little unusual, because typically the letters are signed in the yeah. past. Yeah, and you know, honestly, it up. it's, yeah, mixing it up, I like how they put it on the side, because uh, it's a clear autograph, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, actually, the, that was always the drawback of manufactured letters is that the autographs aren't always the most readable because exactly. the letter is small and the fabric is not pen friendly. Yeah. So in this case, you get kind of a combination of both. Exactly. So yeah, it's pretty good product um, from Upper Deck. They do they do uh, things right. Ten packs, three hits per box. I don't know if we missed On that. Average, On average. Yeah. On average, yeah. There you go. Uh, speaking of Reggie Theus, here's a parallel number to 249. Reggie Theus right there. Uh oh. That's very blue foil. yeah, blue blue foil right there. TV star Reggie Theus. And the shot. Christian uh, Lane. Can never forget that. How about Shane Battier? Uh Magic Johnson. Okay. Nick Van Axel. Ooh, Nick Van Axel. Fat Lever. He's like everything we open these days. Yeah. Lafayette. Lafayette. Yeah. Fat Lever. And how about Joe Harris, a autograph letterman out of fifty? Yeah. There you go. And those are also manufactured patches too. If we didn't, yep, I don't yep. remember if I said that. Did you impale the cameraman? I not did. As much as you should have. Probably not. He's not Justin. So. Uh, he doesn't deserve it. Yeah, Bo Outlaw, number to nine ninety nine. Glenn Robinson the third. There you go. Uh oh, we got a Dougie McBucket siding, number to four ninety nine. Parallel insert, Doug McDermott. I don't and, have him. Come on, the goat. Mm -mm. The goat, greatest of all time. I call all right, rookie. Yeah. How about a skinny Shaq? Whoa, that's that's a shot. Yeah. Dave Cowens and David Thompson. David O'Neill Thompson. That's, by yeah, the way. exactly. I was, I was yeah. waiting for that. <laughs> James Worthy. Uh, We're not worthy. 
are they? Bo Kimball? Where, where are they? Ah, sleepy Eric Floyd right there. Okay. And one of my favorites, number to 999, Mitch McGarry with uh, Michigan. How about Akeem Olajuwon? Okay. Along with Allen Houston. Purvis Ellison. We're getting some 90s Dang, guys in here. Purvis. Oddly okay. black and white photo for him. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. Yeah. How about a fat lever parallel out of 249? All right. And just in case there wasn't enough Hall of Fame caliber Bill Walton in this one, how about a second card? There you go. This time, it is a manufactured piece, so it's not the autograph. It's okay. just a manufactured relic. So yeah, but and it looks a little different, too. Yeah, it's That's got a cool. different burn pattern, actually. Yeah. I dig that. All right, so Jerry Stackhouse. He's a stack. Jamal House. Mashburn. Mashed potatoes burn. He's what? mighty mighty. Bobby oh Hurley. Look at that. You got some Duke Carolina going on. Here. Yeah. And uh, number to 99, Jordan Adams, rookie right there. Stack, was that Carolina with Rasheed Wallace? I think he was. Or was that before? I think that about might have been. About, yeah. about the same time. Around the same time, but I think he was there around the same time with Vince Carter. Vince Carter. And Vince Sanity. How about Adrian Payne on the parallel? Doing well this year. AC Green in his less purple days. <laughs> Kendall Gill. Paul George. Paul George. Man, I miss that guy. Uh oh. We have a roll tide siding. Uh oh. Antonio McDice. I have his autograph. I met him. He's tall. David Robinson. Jay Williams, one of one of the greatest players that never really panned out because of an Car, unfortunate motorcycle, yeah, motorcycle, motorcycle accident. accident. Yeah. He was one of my I hate Duke, but I liked watching him play. The number to four ninety nine, Glenn Robinson the You're third. A hater. You, admit it. you know, I'm just I have family in North Carolina and I, I root for UNC. DeAndre Daniels, Blue Parallel. John Sally, Sean Elliott, and Bill Russell. Interestingly enough, Bill Russell's in a color photo when, when uh, John, John Sally is. That's isn't. interesting. That's cool, though, because that's a good looking photo. I haven't that, seen that one before. I, well, I think we when we pulled, the, well, we pulled the shoe card okay. that you did, mm -hmm. uh, that was the photo that they used. Okay. And I thought that was kind of cool right on. Uh, photo that they have. So here's uh, Glenn Robinson, the third's daddy. Glenn Robinson. I feel old. Nick Van Exel. Oh, this is a this is an old school name right here. Back, Stacy Ogman. Mm. Haven't heard that in a while. Irvin Johnson and home court stars Shaquille O'Neal. Another sh skinny Shaq. Yeah, man, he's skinny Shaq. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Alvin Hayes, Alex English, Jerry Lucas, Derek Harper. Now here I have a very odd, interesting. Debate probably starter of a card. Uh oh. A James Harden okay. Monumental Logos card. Now, this is one of only 15. Wow. And I think if, if you put them all side by side, you can build the logo. Okay. But it's a manufactured patch, so it's not game used. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah. So that'll probably rile some people up out there. A little bit. But at the same time, it's interesting. It's an interesting, interesting approach. Yeah. I mean, you know, you have companies that do. Manufacture relics are everywhere. Yeah, but they have the patches where you can build they're, them. Or they're typically more obvious. Exactly. Yeah, you, you can only have like four and it'll right. make it. But 15, that's, you know, but still, one out of 15. It's I'll different. Take, I'll take that any day. Lafayette. Dave Cowens. Florida State. Dang. Shane Battier. And the guy on the product... Number to 999, Aaron Gordon. There you go. Arizona Wildcats. How about James Michael McAdoo? There you go. Say that five times fast. Yeah. Number to 999, Brad Doherty, for all you NASCAR fans. Oh, gosh. Steph Curry. Yeah. And Baby Jordan. Baby Jordan. I like it. He didn't exactly go on to become. Unfortunately, he didn't. Run, no. One big dunk. And yeah. yeah. That was it. All right, my last pack, we have David Thompson, David O'Neill Thompson. Here's another Shaq You're all signing. about the David O'Neill Thompson, but you never yeah. mentioned Shaq O'Neill. Yeah, not mm -hmm. worth it. Allen Houston, and autograph, sticker autograph of Stacy Ogman. Oh, that's cool. That's not yeah, bad. Not bad. Looks, that looks pretty good, actually. Yeah, I dig it. So what, what we're looking at here is manufactured relics as our memorabilia cards. Yes. Which that's, you know, if you go in knowing that or mm -hmm. you're buying singles knowing that, it's not a problem. Yeah. 
But if you're not, then got to make sure that's why we're going to educate, educate some people. That's why we're here. Exactly. Yeah. So, so what I've got here, I've got four manufactured relics, but two are autographed. Okay. And that, you know what? They look good. And I've never, I've never been a, an opponent of uh, manufactured relics mm -hmm. because I think they do bring and provide some variety. Yeah. And some just more creative looks to cards. Exactly. You, but yeah, at you the can same be so time, much more. Yeah. I would hope that they would label them. Like this one in particular, it's not worrisome, but it's definitely different. Mm -hmm. And that it looks just like a regular mem card, but it's a manufactured mem card. Yeah, I, I'm honestly a big fan of the the wooden pieces. Yeah, it looks the, cool. Yeah, the, just a different type of a card. It's yeah. a card with some other features to it, and exactly. that's that's a positive in that it's a creative a creative production. Mm -hmm. it does, not everything has to be game used. We've been, no. we've been. We've been you know, spoiled. Yeah, for 15 years, that's been the standard. Actually, more than 15. It's coming up on 20 years. Yeah, the cards have been yeah. game use only. Yeah. And, you know, it's a, it's a pretty hot, fun debate out there. So if you have thoughts, leave them in the comments below. That'll help further to the discussion. Yeah. But, uh, you know, actually, Bill Walton, that's a pretty solid autograph for me. He's he's not, you know, he's relatively plentiful, but he's you know, one of the top 50 players in the NBA's history. I exactly. Believe. So yeah. that's fun. So. Yeah. No, overall, I think it's a, a great product. Upper Deck Letterman Basketball came out uh, last week. Okay. I think. I'll take your word for it, sir. <laughs> I, yeah. Um, but it recently released. Checklist is in the system. Pricing will be there uh, in and, a couple weeks. And it is three autographs or mems in every box on average. Yeah. So uh, technically my box so, is a beyond average. Yeah. But you, I guess they are counting the manufactured relics as memorabilia, too. Yeah. And that's fine. I mean, as long as you understand that going in, right. then it's a pretty pretty sweet break. Yeah, if you're a college fan, definitely go after it. Good design on the base cards. Yep. Uh, this is actually, the base design is one of the more colorful and striking designs of yeah. the last few releases for Cause, them. Yeah, because a lot of people are into the, you know, college logos and yep. college colors. And they look good. They infuse that into the base card, so. Infuse. Infuse. I hope your vocabulary didn't confuse anyone with your oh. infusion. I don't know. I, that's probably not the best word to use. Maybe we should defuse the situation. True, totally. We could do that. All right, so it's on. You already did the on the site. I already did that. I'm already. Ahead I was. Of you. I was reading the thing, trying to yeah, compare yeah. boxes. You got three. I got four. It made me look. Oh. Made you look. Thought, right. Made you look. All right. Well, till next time. I'm Chris. <laughs> I'm Derek. And we made you look. <laughs>